Renewable and Non-Renewable Resources The planet Earth is a good place to live in because it provides us with all the things we need. It is rich in natural resources. A natural resource is anything that comes from the Earth which people use. Natural resources are grouped into renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are resources that can be replaced in a short span of time. Non-renewable resources are resources that are limited in supply. They cannot be replaced at once when they are used up. Renewable resources, plants and animals. Plants and animals are renewable resources because they can reproduce and replace themselves. People eat food that comes from plants. Farmers plant new crops after each harvest. The crops which people eat are replaced by new ones. People also eat some animals. The animals are replaced when young ones are born. Plants and animals need each other. If plants are abused, animals are badly affected. The excessive cutting down of trees can affect the lives of plants and animals. This bad practice can also affect the quality of water and soil. Water Another renewable resource is water. Water is important to humans. You use water in your everyday activities. You use water for drinking, washing plates, washing clothes, and taking a bath. Water is important to animals. Animals need water to live and grow. Without water, animals will die. Water also serves as the habitat of sea animals. Water is important to plants. Plants need water to live and grow. Without water, plants will also die. There will always be the same amount of water on Earth. However, the problem is the quality of water that we use. Do you drink clean and fresh water? Where do you get the water that you drink? Water can be replaced. Water in rivers dry up, but when rain comes, the lost water is replaced. Non-renewable resources. There are resources that cannot be replaced easily or cannot be replaced at all when used up. They are called non-renewable resources. Examples are coal, natural oil and gas, and minerals such as diamond, gold, silver, platinum, and copper. People are fast using up these minerals. They dig mines to get coal and precious minerals. They drill wells to get oil and natural gas. Coal and oil are important energy resources. Coal is a black material that is used as fuel. Oil, which is also known as petroleum, is a black and thick liquid that is used to make gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. Natural gas goes with oil and coal. Just like coal and oil, it is also used as fuel to produce electricity. People use much electricity, so more and more fuels are used up. Scientists say that there will come a time when these fuels will be used up or completely consumed. Coal, natural gas, and oil were formed underground after a very long time. Once they are used up, they cannot be replaced as easily as water and plants can be. Minerals composing the rocks and soil are also non-renewable resources. Soil, an important natural resource. Soil is a very important natural resource on Earth. It is very useful to plants, animals, and humans. Most plants grow on soil. The roots of these plants get water and minerals from the soil. Some animals, like earthworms and ants, live in the soil because there is air in the spaces between soil particles. People plant crops like rice and corn in the soil. 
These crops are sources of food. Crops can be grown on the same land again and again for years if the soil is properly taken care of. If the soil is washed away, it will take hundreds and hundreds of years before it can be replaced. It cannot be replaced easily. So, the soil is also considered a non-renewable resource. Conserving our natural resources Will there be enough natural resources on Earth for people to use? We all have to be concerned about whether or not there will always be enough natural resources for the future. We have to do something to conserve our natural resources. Conservation means saving the things that come from nature like air, soil, water, animals, and plants. Here are some ways to conserve our natural resources. Conserve the use of electricity. The less electricity you use, the lesser fuel is consumed. Wild animals should be preserved. If you kill one, you harm the others too. Help plant new trees. People and animals will benefit from them. As much as possible, apply the principle of reduce, reuse, recycle in the way you use and dispose materials or things. Reduce means to make less. Reuse means to use a product over and over again in the same form. Recycle means to go through a new process in order to be used again. Do you know why should recycle things? Recycling is the solution to extend the supply of non-renewable resources such as metals. Tin cans and glass bottles are made from minerals and other materials. These materials are recycled by melting them and making them into new tin cans and bottles. Plastic bottles can be recycled. They can be cleaned and refilled or melted and molded into other plastic products such as flower boxes. Answer the following. 1. What are natural resources? 2. What is the difference between the renewable and non-renewable resources? Give two examples for each.